Hello folks and welcome to episode 3 of Let's Play Civilization 3 Complete. Yes, we have just found a ruin and now it is time to continue our rapid growth. We are breeding like rabbits here in, uh, in France today. Um, we gotta do something about those, uh, about those barbarians, so we're gonna make an archer. I said automate. Oh yeah, you can't uh, go anywhere. Because you're afraid of those guys getting you. Oh, okay. Well, that's something I can understand. Unlike these hairstyle divas over here. Okay, um... We're gonna put you right on the source of iron. Okay, good. You don't have a settler on you. But yes, right on the source of iron so we can claim it for ourselves. Alright, now for Grenoble. All right, let's go right ahead with the barracks. As many barracks as possible. Oh, I forgot to mention, but one of the other reasons that I chose France is... I uh, know that's not my campuses, but my last two LPs, I was a uh, religious civilization. And a lot of people were saying, like, oh, you're playing on religious civilizations because it's easier with anarchy and stuff, which wasn't really true. But just because of that, I decided I needed to play a non-religious civilization. So that's what I have decided to do. Okay, build a settler. How far can you go? Only two per turn? That's pretty sad. But that's okay. Two per turn is better than none per turn. So, yes, this little boat is not too useful for that much, but it's all we got now, so he's going to have to do. All right, let's build, let's see, let's see, one, two, actually come down here and we'll direct you from there. Actually, now that, um, now that Paris is reasonably insulated by a layer of other cities, it can be undefended for a while while I build a barracks. I think it's okay. And you build a temple out here. I'm really concerned for that worker's safety, but I'm going to do nothing about it. And everyone is going to face palm when he dies. But oh well, that's just how it will be. Okay, you... We're just going to set you on a course to come down here. And you'll get down there when you're good and feel like it, I guess. All right. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, not much we can build there, except let's build another archer. We really need to... Oh, the Persians have the uh, pyramids. And oh, we have the Dutch on this map. And they build the Oracle. The Dutch can see the future. Yes. All right. I didn't know the Dutch people had superpowers, but I guess I was mistaken. Yes, never... Never underestimate the Dutch. All right. Yeah, right there. We got to expand out that way. I have a strong feeling that uh, we might be on a peninsula, but then again, I don't know. Oh, wait, you were building the Oracle? Yeah, whatever, building granary. Yeah, I sometimes... Uh, Sometimes it's easy to lose track of what your cities are building when you're not paying enough attention, like I was, apparently. But that's okay. Alright. Good, good. Let's build a settler, of course. The Mausoleum of Mausolus. Just love the sound of that, but yep, this is a, uh, a, what, what do you want to call it? And expand one of the items added by um, conquest. It was not in play of the world, but it's um, very useful because it makes three unhappy citizens content, which can be a problem, uh, of course, as we know. All right, Archer, don't let me down. We're gonna bring you out here to take on these barbarians, and oh yes, our iron city will be called Dijon. Also known for Honey Dijon. Uh, 
Earth, whatever. But anyway, um, build a temple there. Actually, no, build a barracks first. We really need to hunker down this spot because we know the city is going to be a target because of its uh, location on a source of iron. So, yes, we're going to have to protect it to the last man and the last woman if needs be. Alright. Persians are helping us out by getting rid of that guy. Ooh, man, they killed the Persian guy. Oh, well, but he's softened up for us, so that's a good thing. Oh, we have Portugal. They created the Great Lighthouse. Okay. Alright, well, Mr. Archer, I want you to come down here and help us find out what's what. Alright, this city's not going to be growing too much, so... We're going to have a granary because when we do get some irrigation down there, we're going to we're going to want to uh, you know grow at a faster rate. All right, let's destroy this guy. Goodbye. That was too easy. Ooh, barbarian encampment. Let's pillage it and take their gold. Okay, I'm going to build a city there, but not now. But I am going to build a city over here. Yes, they are kind of close together, but like I said before, I think it's worth it. So, I'm just going to do a little bit of thinking here. Yep, that's where I want you to go. Alright. Sounds good. Man, we are on the march. Alright. Alright. I think we should build a worker here before anything. Yeah, one worker per city is a pretty good ratio. All right, let's attack this barbarian encampment. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Not dead yet. Okay. Amins. Yes. This city is a means to the end. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny. Laugh. Okay. Now that we have that going on, can we afford to spend all the time building a temple? Eh, probably not. Let's build another spearman. We really need to arm our uh, cities a little better. Okay. Alright, let's found a city on these bananas. Or actually, let's put it between the bananas and the horses so we're assured to get both of them. It's a good idea, I think. Alright, that little boat is slowly but surely making its way around. Oh, and this guy is kind of stuck. Well, hope Persia won't get too pissy about us moving this guy down. What are you waiting for, guys? Get down there. Alright. Yes, I know you're complaining. He'll be out of there soon. Jeez. Stinky Persians. Alright, here we go. I kind of left a gap here, didn't I? I don't know, maybe I'll... That's two squares I have to sacrifice, so if I don't want to build a city there... Uh, we'll cross that bridge later, but... Fortify that guy. Yes, for all my pickiness, I still goofed up in my city placement. Oh, well. You can't expect perfection from me. You can only expect a lot of fail. But it's a very hilarious fail, so it's okay. All right, we're just about to see whether we are on a peninsula or whether that's just a lake down there. Been very curious about that. All right. Now that we have that going on, it's time for us to uh, maybe time to trade with some neighbors. See what technologies they have. All right, let's talk to the Netherlands first. Alright. Well, they have Code of Laws ahead of us. Persia, how about you? You also have Code of Laws. You have a lot of stuff, America. Well, we just don't have a Code of Laws. We're just a bunch of big uh, thugs, I guess. Yes, okay. Well, anyway, since we're big thugs, we might as well destroy these barbarians. 
All right. Oh, come on. How many of you guys do I have to kill? All right. Well, I think there's only one more, so that's not a big deal. Um, yeah, build a barracks. Kind of worried about that goody hut being more barbarians to mess everything up, but... Oh, well. All right, that city's going to be squeezed in there. That settler who was walking down there. Well, it very much is looking like this is some sort of coastline that extends down here. Yep, it certainly is. All right, we might be boxed into this corner. Not necessarily. We can punch our way out with our mighty military force. All right. The city of Cherbourg, which I believe in real life is on the English Channel. Might be mistaken about that. Um, all right. We have a galley now, so yeah, we'll build that. But first, I want you, yes, you, to come down... Uh, let's see. Um, it's picky time. Do I want to sacrifice a couple terrain squares? Yeah, I kind of got yeah, just one. I'm sacrificing. That's okay. Let's scope this out. See what's going on here. Actually, the peninsula isn't that bad of an idea because it's a good uh, defensive position, and also. We might not be far in this direction over here. Oh, we got a new warrior. That's kind of cool. But like I'm saying, we might not be too far in this direction from other uh, other lands. Okay. Anyway, you come to these uh, these cities over here just to be a defender. You come over there, and I guess you were just going to have to scoot you along all the way over here. Well, I was thinking there might be land like directly across here, but it doesn't look like it so far. So that's just going to be what it is, I guess. Yes, our age of um, settler spam might be coming to an end a lot faster than anyone anticipated. Oh, finally, he's out of there. All right, keep exploring, Mr. Dude. All right, we will build a barracks here. I think we already built a temple there. I don't remember exactly. Yeah, that's pretty much the only space you can go unless we're going to really crowd that city over there, which probably isn't recommended. Poitiers, or whatever. We'll start with the temple here because I know we're going to be squeezing in and trying to... You know, our cultural boundaries will be pushing against the Americans. That's kind of funny that we ended up right next to America. Ironically, America usually isn't tough in that many Civ 3 games, but I have the feeling they're going to be tough in this one. Well, anyway, that's enough for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.